Hi, hope you're all well. Welcome back to Springs Kids this morning. We have had an incredible week this week. I hope you have too. We've been on a prayer walk. Some of our kids were with us and that was amazing. Um, if you don't know what a prayer walk is, it's when we walk around Gornal and we prayed for our local area. We prayed for you and your return to school. I hope this week has been a fantastic week that you've had a wonderful time meeting your new teachers and you have just enjoyed the return to normality. A bit of school, a bit of home learning even maybe, I don't know. Let us know how your week at school has been. Welcome to Fun Zone. So this week, Edie has come up with the game. And all it is, Edie, are you going to explain? Okay, Edie doesn't want to explain. So today's Fun Zone activity is going to involve a cereal box. If you don't have a cereal box, any other box will do. But don't make it too small because that will make it very difficult. Or too heavy. Or too <laughs> so for this game, all we're going to do is put this cereal box on the floor and take it in turns to pick it up with our mouth um, and you can't touch the floor apart from with your feet. So the flexible, more flexible you are, the better. So I'm not going to win this game. I've come to terms with that already. I think Evie's going to win. Um, obviously, you can't play this game with anyone that doesn't live with you because Corona. Corona. Other than that, enjoy! <laughs> So today's Bible story is looking at um, Abraham and Sarah, his wife, and the promises that God made to him. Abraham was um, favoured by God. Abraham loved him very, uh, God very much. And God loved Abraham a lot too. And so when Abraham was really, really sad about not having any children, he went to God and told him all about it. He was like, God, I really want a child. Bless me with a son. And, you, and Abraham was really, really old. He was too old to be having children. But God said to Abraham that he would have a son. God promised him. And Abraham made choices that meant that he followed God. And because he followed God, that promise came true. You see, in the Bible, often it talks about obedience and trust. God asks us to listen to what he says and, and follow him. That can be really hard at times. Sometimes, what God wants us to do can be a bit challenging, but I can assure you that it always turns out good. The Bible is our book 
it's the book that tells us what God asks us to do. It instructs, it guides, and Jesus tells us to love God and love people. So today, before you go back to school next week, I want you to think how you can trust God. Maybe you've been a little bit worried. Maybe you've been a little bit anxious. Maybe you've felt a bit under pressure to um, work hard and catch up on all the learning that you might have missed. But the Bible promises us that God is with us. And if God promises it, it's sure to happen. So you know that when you head into school, and if you follow what God asks us to do, to love God and love people, you can be sure that God is going to be right beside you and he's going to be walking and helping you to feel confident and secure at school. Have a great week, guys. around trust and listening and obedience. So what you have to do my friends, what you have to do is ensure you fill up as many tubs as you can of water. Whatever containers are used, plastic bottles, plastic cups, are used saucepans, are used, what are the bowls things called? Plastic bowls. I used little plastic plates which I wasn't afraid to step on. I also used lots and lots of Tupperware things. They're just called Tupperware. No, they are. Fill as many as you can with water. I recommend go as mad as you can. Probably ask your parents first, but, you know, if you don't, that's up to you, <laughs> not me. Um, so, yeah, put them all on the ground and then get somebody to guide you through the system without stepping on it. You have to be blindfolded and you'll see how I did in a second. I did brilliantly. Unfortunately, my instructor was terrible. Anyway, actually, Sam just doesn't know how to listen. Share us some videos if you so desire. Bless you guys and have a great week. It is. Okay. Okay. So walk forwards. One step. Two step. Another step. Another step. Another little step. But yeah. And sorry. And then step over the tub. Yep, yeah, that's a safe zone there, yeah, bring your other foot. Okay, and then to your your left foot in front <laughs> left foot in front. Yeah. And then a big right foot really low. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then your left foot again over. <laughs> Okay, um, put, <laughs> yeah, that's a good front, and then the other foot could go next to it, and then there's quite a bit of space. A little shift forwards, and then to your left, all the way across, yep. Oh. <laughs> Move your, all your feet right to, yeah, all right, go on, just walk then, yep. Yep, safe, yep. That's fine. Okay, and then a big leap, but there's a lot of pots, yep, well done. Yep. And then another step over. Okay, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> put your foot. No, put your foot down on the floor. You're not listening to the instructions. Okay, now your left foot up, and you're not to your left foot. That's my left. <laughs> okay, so shift over a tiny bit to the left. Yeah, and then a big left foot up, <laughs> over, <laughs> and then the right <laughs> foot up and over, <laughs> and anywhere <laughs> you like. <laughs> um, and then you need to do a big jump over all those ones. <laughs> <laughs> well done.